Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my Waffle Square, where I obsess about things, and you get the benefit from it. So once YouTube is done compressing your 4K video, can you tell the difference between the EOS R and the M6 Mark II? Let's find out together. So let me start by saying this is not a comparison of stats. If you look simply at stats, the EOS R is the clear winner when you consider that it's 4K, when I shot it in C-Log, is 468 megabytes per second and is all I, which is a really beefy codec. The Canon M6 Mark II, on the other hand, shoots in IPB, which means it's line skipping, and the 4K is 121 megabits per second when I used it. So what we are simply looking at is the 4K footage coming out of these two cameras after YouTube has compressed it. Now for our comparisons, I shot both cameras in 30 frames per second with auto white balance, due mostly to the fact that the Canon M6 Mark II at the time of this shooting does not shoot 4K in 24 frames per second. All footage with the EOS R was shot in 4K, C-Log, 8-bit, in all I. And the only thing I did to the image, as you can see here, was apply the Canon C-Log LUT. The M6 Mark II was a lot simpler. I simply shot it in 4K with the standard profile. No adjustments whatsoever. So the footage you're about to see is tripod, handheld, daytime, low light, indoor, outdoor. Also time-lapse. The only thing I didn't do was shoot any slow motion because neither camera can shoot even 60 frames per second in 4K. So with that, let's get going. All right, this first group of videos is on a Sigma 70-200 f2.8 adapted and mounted to a tripod set to f4. These are some outfield shots in bright daylight at 70 millimeter ISO 100 with an ND filter. Camera A, now camera B. This next group is going to be batting at 200 millimeter. Oh! oh. <laughs> lucky, 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 lucky. And camera B. Great hit. All right, coming up now on low light. So this is, uh, interestingly enough, ISO 2000 for the M6 Mark II and 2500 for the ESR. Camera A. Great hit. Camera B. All right, the remaining shots are going to be with the camera's kit lenses. So that's the 15 to 45 on the M6 Mark II and the 24 to 105 F4 on the EOS R. This first group is going to be my daughter's jujitsu class, handheld. Camera A. And camera B. All right, for the remaining videos, I stacked the cameras on top of each other with a hot shoe mount. This is the uh, Colorado River right by Bullhead City, Arizona and Laughlin, Nevada on a tripod. Here's a time lapse on a Movo electronic ball head. Really cool. I'll leave a link for it. You get that panning shot. Pretty neat. All right, handheld when this seagull was coming up and eating some popcorn. I'm going to stick with this shot a little longer so you can see the bird flying away on camera B. There we go. Here's my daughter trying to get seagulls to eat out of her hand. <laughs> then she put on a blanket, but that didn't work any better. And finally, another stationary time-lapse of me pruning this tree. 
All right, so that voiceover clip you just watched was uploaded to YouTube, and then I watched it on my iPad, on my Mac, and also on our 4K TV. And the only difference I could see was in the coloring and slight exposure differences, but no real difference in clarity or sharpness to my eye. Now I've seen other YouTube videos where they compared the two, but they were done with this uh, black and white screen and they pixel peeped way in to try to find the differences in sharpness. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it in just the regular way that I would use this camera for YouTube videos. So let me know what you think. Could you tell the difference? Do you know which camera was which? I'm about to do the reveal. Camera A was the EOS R. Camera B was the M6 Mark II. Now personally, even after the Canon LUT was applied to the footage on the EOS R, I still preferred the color science coming out of the standard profile on the M6 Mark II. I just found it more pleasing to the eye and found the colors to be a bit more brilliant. Now, if you were gonna be applying more wild LUTs or something like that, you may want a neutral or even that C-Log profile to really do a lot of work on it. But for me, I've been trying to speed up my workflow and that standard profile on the M6 Mark II is so good and the footage is so easily uploaded to my iPad for editing that I believe I'm going to actually sell my EOS R and just keep the M6 Mark II. Now, if you like this video, will you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the YouTube algorithm to start suggesting it to other people. Also, I would really like to hear your opinions and your comments below. I'll have links below for the items I talked about. Now, full disclosure, these are affiliate links. So if you click on them and end up making a purchase, it won't cost you a thing, but I do get a small reward at the end of the month. It helps to justify the time it takes to make these videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.